Welcome guys, this is Kagan from lifelearnings.com and this is the fifth video tutorial of PIC16 F886 microcontroller. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to use for loops, then delay functions and while loop on simulation and hardware. So first, I will show you how you can use LEDs with Proteus ISIS. Let's move to that side. In Proteus, I place this PIC16 F886 for Selecting the LED and resistance component, you can go for this component mode and click on this P for LED, type LED space red and you can select this model of LED, LED red active and double click on to add it into your device list. For resistance, type RES and this is the resistance device double click on it to add it into your device list after that click on ok now you have this red led you can place it on the screen and you have this resistance you can place it on the screen near to led and i will connect the cathode of led to one end of the resistance and the value of this resistance will be 330 ohm and i will use the port c to operate the eight leds from this port so this is the rc0 pin of port c connected to anode of the led and other end of the resistance will be connected to ground to select the ground go to this terminal mode and select the ground signal and you can connect this end of the resistance to ground. So in this way we have to connect 8 LEDs on port C. So you can see I connect 8 LEDs from D1 to D8 with the help of resistances R1 to R8 on port C. So these resistances are to limit the current for LEDs and we have to write a program to operate these LEDs. Now let's see how we can use the inbuilt delay function of micro C. For this we have to first create a new project. For this go to project, click on new project, then next and give a name to your project. I give a project name LED test and save the project to a folder and select the device pick 16f886 device clock 16 megahertz click next next and select this option include none and click next and select this option to open edit project configuration settings click finish and make sure the oscillator selection is high speed oscillator and all other are default so click on ok and you have a blank void main function so I connect the LEDs on port C for that I have to make the port C an output port for this I have to first configure the tri-state resistor for port C so type tri-state resistor C is equal to 0x00 so that we can uh, use all the pins for output and for writing a value to port just type port C is equal to 0x00 now to use a delay function the format is delay underscore ms then in brackets you can write the value of delay suppose i write 500 so this function is a delay function for milliseconds so 500 is equal to 500 milliseconds and after that delay you can write another value to port port c is equal to 0x01 after that i will again add a delay delay underscore ms 500 500 millisecond delay again if you want to write a value to port c type port c is equal to 0x02 so i write three values on port c first 0 then 1 and then 2 with a delay of 500 milliseconds so for this let's see what is the output on port c first click on build and build to compile the program go to the simulation software and double click on the microcontroller package make sure your processor clock frequency is 16 megahertz and browse the hex file location and in this case i have this for loop and delay folder and this is the required hex file select this and open it click on ok and hit the play button you can see the output on port c so in this way you can write any value to port C and if you need to add delay you can add the delay with this function and this is for millisecond delay. Now I want to toggle the port pins for 5 times. How can I write a program? 
Now the condition is that I have to toggle the port C pins from 00 to FF for 5 times. For that you can use a for loop. The syntax of for loop is for then initialize semicolon then condition then semicolon and increment or decrement. So this is the syntax of for loop. For initialization we need a variable so I am using x variable and initialize it to 0 then condition is that x is less than 5 because I want to execute the loop for 5 times so x is less than 5 and x plus plus now this is the for loop and let's start its body and terminate the body and now I can write instructions for toggling the port C inside the body of for loop port c is equal to 0x00 zero zero zero, then delay underscore ms 500 then port c is equal to 0xff then again delay underscore ms 500 so in this way this for loop will execute all these instructions for five times or whatever the condition you are writing here if i write 10 then these all instructions will be executed for 10 times but i need for five time now the port c is equal to zero then delay then port c is equal to ff means all pins turns on then delay of 500 milliseconds so in this way we will toggle all the pins of port c let's compile it and you will find this error undeclared identifier x in the expression so what is the meaning of this error because you are using a variable x here but you did not declare the variable so you have to first declare the variable as a character data type char character the name of variable is x so now x is declared as a character variable now try to build the program again now our project is finished successfully compiled successfully let's see the output on simulation hit the play button 1 2 3 4 and 5 you can observe the blinking of all leds on port c five times let's check the output on hardware and for this i have to first erase the microcontroller then go to file import hex select the hex file and hit the right button and one two three four five so on the hardware output is same as our simulation now if we want to execute instructions for infinite time then what we can do we can use a while loop first we need to know the syntax of while so the syntax is while then in the brackets your condition then start of body and end of body so this loop will execute all the instructions under its body until unless the condition is not false so if i write while one then one will always be true so if i write like this while one and then the starting bracket and then closing bracket then it will create an infinite loop and when you write the instructions under this loop they will execute for infinite time let's write some values on port c let's observe the output of this program build and build the program move to proteus isis and hit the play button now you will find that your state of port c is changing with a delay of 500 milliseconds and this is not stopping after 5 or after 7 or after 10 times because these instructions are under while 1 and this while 1 creates an infinite loop that's why the state of port c is continuously changing now stop the simulation and let's try to make a little change in this program if you write a for loop inside this while one now if you write a for loop under a while loop then what will happen now this for loop is set for the execution of these instructions for five times so let's see what is the output of this program you can count the number of blinks of leds on port c the blinking is not stopping after five times why it is not stopping because when x is equal to five this condition will be false for this for loop and the for loop will terminate it but because of this while one the for loop is again start from 
with this initial condition x is equal to zero so guys this is how we can use the delay functions the for loop and while for an infinite loop thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel